Hi, Steve Cooper, Rank Success, and this is a short video in relation to forward facing and rear facing questions and the fact that I often get contacted, and I've been contacted today, actually in my inbox today, to say, Steve, I've got a board coming up in a couple of weeks. I know a lot of you've got opportunities coming up. I think it's Staffordshire in a couple of weeks, and I know there's a couple that have just gone on recently uh, uh, in other forces. So, forward facing questions then i have done other videos i have done blogs uh, pop along to police promotion blog or uh, rank success.co.uk or youtube rank success and you will find lots of short videos uh, to support and to challenge and to respectfully provoke your thinking around these issues but this is a short one uh, around forward facing questions because people still uh, get a bit uncertain, a bit worried about them. So what's a forward facing question? Well, the traditional rear facing question is give us uh, an example of a time when you displayed this competency. So for example, you know, when have you demonstrated the competency, uh, we're emotionally aware so from the competency and values framework in the workplace. When have you done that? Now forward facing is how will you demonstrate the competency, emotional awareness, in the workplace or any of the other competencies. Okay, so what I try and do as a promotion coach and on my master classes and on little videos like this, just to keep you thinking supportively, if you walked into a promotion board and you sit down and they say, look, we're not gonna run a full process today. We've got a lot of um, mutual aid commitments. So we're just gonna have a very, very quick board today. And we're gonna ask you this one question. If we give you today your stripes or if we give you today your pips what will you do with them what's the point of us doing that how will the public benefit from that how will your teams and this organization the force benefit from us doing that you've got a minute and that'll be the end of your board and we'll promote you on what you say that's a great way for you to focus because I can't do the thinking for you. No one can do the thinking for you, but there you go. It's uncomfortable territory sometimes, but essentially it cuts to the quick. If we give you your stripes, or if we give you your pips, what are you gonna do with them? Okay, if you want some help with that, I do downloadable, uh, I offer downloadable uh, digital promotion toolkits to help you with that kind of thinking, to help ensure that you arrive at your promotion board, um, you know, um, confident, aware, and thinking in the right zone. So that's a good one to get you focused with forward-facing questions. Um, I hope you like it. It's, a, it's an interesting exercise for you to get stuck into. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is by sitting down and writing out a bit, a bit like Bart Simpson with his, with his lines. Uh, 30 lines, I will. As a newly promoted inspector, I will. As a newly promoted sergeant, I will. And start seeing what you will do. Now, you can do that intuitively. Um, instinctively you can do it by thinking and working through and what I'm hinting here at is when you arrive in the promotion board at your interview that's not the time to start doing this thinking so those questions what will you do if we give you these stripes or we give you these pips today how will the public benefit how will your teams benefit just gets you really thinking about what you need to be uh, in the zone of uh, ahead of your board okay I hope you like that um, short video. I'll be back with another one in due course. Until then, take care and stay safe.